my name is Debbie Hoffman. I'm a reference librarian at the Warren Newport Public Library. And I'd like to just chat a minute about The House Girl by Tara Conklin. This was actually a debut, first novel for her. She actually is a lawyer um, and had this story in her head, running around in her head. And it's it's just delightful. It's She interweaves um, contemporary time and Virginia slave time. And it's, it's very interesting, two very strong women um, given totally different circumstances. Um, Lena Sparrow is a young and, and ambitious lawyer. Um, she has been given a case of the, of the century. She, somebody comes to their law firm and says, I want to get some reparation for um, slaves. So she, but I need you to find one person that we can really centralize this lawsuit on. And so she begins to do research and research and research. In the meantime, Tara brings in the story of Josephine, who is a house slave in uh, Virginia. She's 17 years old, a house slave in a uh, Virginia t um, tobacco plantation that really is floundering. Her mistress is very ill, but um, she takes it upon herself to teach Josephine not only to um, read, but also her mistress is, a, is an artist, and she teaches Josephine how to paint. And Josephine takes to it beautifully and actually becomes a wonderful artist in, in of herself, but of course she can't take credit of, uh, for anything, and kind of her mistress signs her name to it. So flash forward again, um, and Lima is looking for, Lena is looking for this specific person, and she comes across the paintings that are, of course, given to her, um, Josephine's mistress. So it's kind of a mystery of how she puts the pieces together, and you find out more about Josephine's life, what she did, how she came to be, and what happens to her, and of course, how Lena takes that information and grows from it also. This is just an amazing work of art. Uh, again, um, bringing in the art part of it, um, The House Girl by Tara Conklin.